Shalom Luka, Yabin Akaka, Bashim, Yahawa Shah, Za Aka, Tazamak Shah, Yasha Allah. Alright, this your brother Tazamak Shah, Yasha Allah. Um, I want to go into today the most I put it on me, what led me to these scriptures to ask the question. Um, does, does the Most High love you? Like, there are certain people that the Most High loves and there are certain people that the Most High hates. Now, we know that it says he loved Jacob and he hated Esau, but also there's something else within that. And I want to get into it. Um, first scripture I want to start with. I'll start with Romans chapter 15 verse 4 it says for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope okay says all things were in the four time were written for our learning all right now I want to get this scripture because it says all things written the four time were written for our learning and when you learn what are you doing you're gaining knowledge right so all these things written in the past were written for our learning this is Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing that seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power I will also forget thee so it just tells you in that scripture right there since you forget the law of your power and it's saying right before that we we are destroyed for lack of knowledge and the knowledge that we lack is the laws. It tells you plain and simple right there in the scripture. But I'll keep going anyway. Uh, next one I want to get is Sirach, um chapter 12. And I'll start at... I'll start at verse 5. It says, Do well unto him that is lowly but give not to the ungodly so is somebody the most high is telling us not to help right but give not to the ungodly hold back thy bread and give it not unto him lest he overmaster thee thereby for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. I mean, we could look at our brothers, tribe of Gad, so called Native American Indians, and how they tried to help the so called Europeans and what they did to them. That's what this scripture is talking about. The same thing that happened to our brothers that tried to help these foreigners. You understand what I'm saying? These ungodly people. These people that didn't care for the Most High. Okay? So my next one I want to get. So we we learn, okay? Um, actually, I got to keep going. So like we have, verse 6. For the Most High hateth the sinners to... Uh, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. So the Most High said the sinners, he gonna hold them for that day of punishment, but for that day of destruction, okay? Alright, let me go, let me get my next, my next, um, scripture, which is First John, because it said the Most High hates the sinner. Okay, 
So we have to ask ourselves, we're asking ourselves now, does the Most High hate me? This is what we need to be asking ourselves. Okay? Because people like to say, or, um, or sin and fall short, okay, of the glory of God. This is what people, people say. This is what, um, the thing that people refer to, that all sin. Okay? But we're going to get this. It says sin, oh, uh, this First John 3 and 4. Um, says whosoever committed sin transgress also the law for sin is the transgression of the law okay so this is sin and the most high hated a sinner the most high hated a sinner and sin is transgression of the law right so let's get the next scripture which is John 14 21 he that hath my commandments and keepeth uh, and keepeth them he is it that loveth me you know and uh, like uh, John 15 4 I believe said if you love me keep my commandments okay but this is John uh, 14 21 it says he that that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. This is Yahweh Shah talking. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Okay? So Yahweh Shah said he will show himself to you if if you love him if you keep in the commandments. Alright, and a lot of people say, okay, all we gotta do is keep the Ten Commandments. So we're gonna go into Deuteronomy to show that the laws are in fact commandments too, okay? Because a lot of people like to be like, oh, all we gotta do is keep the Ten Commandments. Alright? So this is Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 16. It says, This day Yahweh thy power hath commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments. Thou shalt therefore keep and do them with all thine heart and with all thine soul. You understand? And it says, it says that this day Yahweh thy power hath commanded. He's commanding us. So these are commandments. He's commanding us to keep these laws and statutes. You understand? To keep these these statutes and judgments, which are the laws. The Most High said he commanded us that we keep these statutes and commandments with all our soul and all our with all our heart and all our soul, okay? So let's not get it confused. We keep the commandments and it tells you that uh, sin is transgression of the law. The Most High hate a sinner, and it says if you love Him, keep His commandments. And we know that sin is sin is transgression of the law. So if you only had to keep the Ten Commandments and didn't have to keep the law, why would He say He hate a sinner? And sinning is going against the laws that were handed down from the Most High, uh, by the Most High through Moses. So, one more shake. So, um. As some people call it. But this is the thing. Sin is transgression of the law. And the Most High hate a sinner. So he hates a person that goes against his laws. You understand? Alright, I got two more scriptures I want to bring out. So we are asking ourselves, does the Most High hate me? And do I really love the Most High? Because if you're not keeping the laws along with the Ten Commandments then you're not really doing what the Most High say and keeping he says he that loveth me keepeth my commandments so I want to get James 4 and 17 okay James chapter 4 verse 17 therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth 
and doth it not to him it is sin so if you know to do good and you're not doing it that is your sin okay so it say all for all sin and fall short of the glory of God so it's saying all sin but you're only sinning when you're going against the law it say he that know to do good and doeth it not it is sin unto him now let's see what doing good is because it say if you know to do good and you do it not, it's sin unto you, right? I want to get to the last one. So, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, it is sin to him. Romans 7 and 12. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy. So, the law and the commandment are both holy and they're one and the same because you just look, the laws are in fact commandments. Because the Most High commanded us to keep these laws and statutes and judgments. It says, Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. So if you know you're supposed to keep the laws, you know the laws, but you're purposely going against them, and you, you can see, you know what I'm saying, the Most High showed you. Oh, you're supposed to be keeping these laws. You ain't supposed to be eating pork. You're supposed to be wearing your fringes. You're not supposed to be cutting your beard. You're not supposed to be sleeping with other women if you're a woman. You're not supposed to be laying with other men if you're a man. You understand? Things like these are the things you know better not to do them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going against the law. And you know that it's wrong. But you still do them anyway. The most I said that's sin to you. You're transgressing the law. So if you're going against the law, the Most High hates you. As it says in Sirach chapter 12 and verse 6. Let's go back there real quick. Sirach chapter 12 and verse 6. For the Most High hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. So the Most High holding you for that day of punishment if you're going to, if you're going against His laws, man. So if you don't want the Most High to hate you, you got to keep His laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay. Hopefully, this edifies someone with that. I'll say shalom.